I'm Becky Legiro and we're at the third annual Sport and iGaming Conference. Today was a joint effort between Sport Business Group and iGaming Business to discuss the importance of sport and online gambling sponsorships. The most popular topics that emerged today included branding through sponsorship, up and coming sports betting technology and the Asian market. Keith McDonald explained what Asian operators view as the value of Premier League sponsorships. I mean, the obvious one is the, the global broadcast TV coverage. It gets back to, to mainland Asia. You know, there's more Chinese people watch it by far than almost the rest of Europe, you know, put together. The other thing is there's very limited local marketing opportunities for these guys. You know, they can't take local football teams because of the regulatory situation. So they come over here, take the big brand teams, and, and that's how they get their brand in front, in front of the eyeballs. Lee Richardson also agrees that there's potential for crossover between the Asian and European sports betting markets. Well, first of all, some Europeans obviously want a slice of the action in Asia. Um, I think a lot of operators in Europe know it's challenging, it's very, it's ultra competitive in Europe. There's also, though, Asian bookmakers who, again, are looking to move into, uh, into Europe. So there's movement in both directions, and we're obviously best placed to have them on both sides of that equation, really. Richardson also left operators with a tip on how to tap into the gigantic pool of offline sports gamblers in the UK. For me, alongside the fact that we can see the vast majority of people who are sports fans, 700 million across those 10 markets, 90% of them don't bet online today. And that's the challenge for, for operators, is how do they persuade the sports fans who love sports, watch it, consume it, how do they get them to bet, sometimes for the first time. A company who has done an amazing job keeping up with the technology is Paddy Power. They are also known for their branding, and Anthony Wong elaborated on how Paddy Power gets the most return from sponsorships. We engage with the fans of what they want and what they need. Just a couple of years ago, what we did for the Manchester United versus Barcelona match, what we did was we surveyed all our fans on our blogs and we asked them what money back special you guys actually wanted. And obviously Barcelona was the red hot favorite then, and all the fans said, if Barcelona won, we want money back. And you know what Paddy said? You can have it. <laughs> so that's exactly what we did, and that is exactly how we have given value back to, to the customers online. I've enjoyed today tremendously and got uh, a lot out of the discussions that I was able to be part of or to, to listen to, and I do hope that you have uh, as well. Have a safe journey home, and as I said, thank you for being with us. We hope to see you again next time around. Thank you. That's it for the Sport and iGaming Conference, and a big thank you to Pins and Masons for hosting the event as they do every year. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon. This is Becky Legiro with CalvinAir.com.